and this is part two of the uh, last video um, carrying on um, continuation it's up to you I can't control how you think about me or feel about me it's totally up to you it's your call your opinions about me I can't change or I can't control I'm just telling you the truth how I deep down feel um, on this video in my last video about the situation um, it's totally up to you to decide how you feel what your uh, views are about me is uh, totally solely it's totally up to you entirely your uh, decision I can't control your thoughts or feelings about me obviously um, moving forward um, Wads claims I'm an alcoholic trying to be funny and sarcastic like he always is if I was an alcoholic well, I explain why I went 29 days last December and didn't even drink a sip of alcohol explain that then because if I was an alcoholic, there's no way I would have went 29 days without drinking. That's fucking common sense. An alcoholic is someone that has to drink every second or craves it. I don't crave it, dude. If I craved it, I'd be drinking. I'd be doing day drinking. I don't do that shit. I don't play that. I don't do that shit. And I don't. And if I do drink, it's two or three times a week now. And I'm trying. Not, I'm trying to get a, do away with drinking. Honestly, uh, totally get a, do away with it because I'm getting sick of it and it's really hurting me more than it's helping me. Um, it's doing more uh, harm than it is good. So, you guys do the math. Um, moving forward, um, you know, it just irks me and perturbs me and b bugs me, bothers me, and it, 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 it's um, disturbing that people think, have an impression about me. That's false. That's not true. I said what I said. I just told you. I said what I said to piss the trolls and the haters off. It doesn't mean I really feel those things thoughts or those feelings it just means I set them to overly to really really piss them off and it worked and it but it hurt me in the same time because people have a certain notion and have a certain opinion about me that isn't even true and that's the fucked up part about it but I'm not here to redeem myself or um, try to save my face um, or anything because like I said it is what it is I said what I said I feel how I feel is how I feel if you guys think otherwise or think differently about me, that's your problem. That's not my problem. Because I know the truth. I know how I feel deep down. And if you guys don't want to agree or if you guys uh, disagree, the truth of the matter is, uh, the moral of the story is, I'm single. I crave a female. I crave a woman in my life. I want to have a girlfriend. I want to get married. I would like to have a family. At least try. I don't want to live the rest of my life lonely. I've been lonely my whole fucking life. That's the truth of the matter. I've missed out on pleasure romantic things and physical pleasure I've missed out on all that um, I don't get no human contact the only time I ever get human contact is if a girl gives me my change back at Burger King or McDonald's and I feel her finger touching my finger it's the only contact I get or I go to the dentist she cleans my teeth or I get my hair cut I feel her fingers in my hair it's the only contact I ever get and that's pathetic that's sad that's depressing and that's fucked up and I ain't, I ain't saying I'm worthy or I'm you know um, um, I'm deserving of someone. I'm not saying that, uh, um, that, uh, what's the word? Um, um, uh, I'm not being, um, selfish one bit. Um, because the thing is, every human being deserves somebody, and every human being deserves human contact. And I'm am a human being, um, so that's a need, you know. And I missed out on that my whole life. I don't get that. So uh, I'm like I said, I never dated or had a girlfriend in high school and everything else. Um, I'm not entitled, you know. I I'm not saying I'm entitled. That's the word. I'm not. I'm, I never said I'm entitled. I'm just saying, you know, yeah, I have problems. My face isn't. My nose is crooked. I. I I have physical, I mean, I'm not, obviously not the most handsome thing, I don't take care of myself like I should, so I'm not entitled, I'm not, but I see guys that are fatter than me, that are more physically out of shape than me with pretty women or these, you know, ladies that I'm like, if he can get it, or I could definitely get her, that kind of thing, so it's very frustrating. I get his personality, my personality is kind of sucks, uh, I'm like a depressed down person, um, always kind of in a bad mood con constantly so it's my fault a lot of things are my fault I'm not saying it's your guys' fault I'd say 80% of it's my fault on, on shit you know I'm just I'm not here to babysit I'm not here to 
cry sad tunes and say, oh, feel sorry for me. I ain't here for that. I'm not here to get sympathy. I'm here just to say, tell you guys what's up, the truth. Say, this is, this is the real deal. I have a drinking problem sometimes. I self-harm myself. Uh, I, I need friends and friends and companionship. I have no social life. Uh, I have issues and I have problems. I'm learning to I'm disabled. I might be autistic. I'm, I went to a school that was $10,000 a year to go to from my 5th to ninth grade year. Uh, in elementary school. I was bullied really severely, highly bullied in life, and I used to think that the kids were older than me, and even though they were kids, I felt like they were like adults, it seemed to me. You know, kids that were two years older than me seemed kind of like adults to me. It's weird. I probably had some dark and bad experiences I can't put my fingers on or explain in the early 80s that I don't know what happened. Maybe something, I don't know. But the past is the past. I have to look forward. I have to live in the present. But I guess I'm going to wrap it up and conclude. I don't feel like keep mumbling and rambling on in here. Um, it's really not doing anything, but it's not solving anything. But I just wanted just to clear these things up. And if, like I said, if you guys want to bash me and disagree with me and make make my name uh, hurt my name and hurt my image and hurt my character, because my character isn't going to change regardless. If you guys want to damage it, it's up to you. It's your it's your choice. I can't choose for you. I can't choose your own thoughts for you. What you feel is personal to you. I can't change your perspective about me. So that's that. That's the bottom line. Um, I only I only know what the truth is, and that's all that matters is what I know is the truth and how I feel. So what you guys feel is irrelevant. How you guys feel is neither here nor there. And that's just the truth. The bottom line. I can't. I can't. Uh, I'm not a miracle maker. I can't. Uh, miraculously change things and make things turn things around make things better I can't come to you and kiss you on your feet or give you a diamond ring or diamond gem or a, a pearl or a, a silver or gold or millions of dollars I can't do that shit you know I can't change your life just like you can't change my life so we gotta do do you and I do me that's it you know I gotta maintain and do what I gotta do I gotta put up with shit and every day and go to work and and deal with life and so do you guys so no one said life is a ball of cherries and joy you know this ain't no smiles and hallmark cards you know life is um serious and life is frustrating and a pain in the ass but we gotta just deal with it uh I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching uh my eyes got to take a shower i feel like shit i feel like lousy and crummy